Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we are on the map Zetsubo no Shima and this is something I've been wanting to do but I haven't really had the opportunity and seeing as how my game is glitched in my solo, I guess this is really the best opportunity I've ever had to do this. So what I want to do is tour the entire map and this is mainly for the Xbox people and possibly some PS4 people that have not yet been able to open up the entire map. So I'm going to try to go through and show you guys as much stuff as I can. Right here is the spawn. Yes, you can actually go swimming out here. Pretty, pretty cool. Honestly, like, it's pretty cool. So there's usually a bucket somewhere in the spawn. I'm going to try to, like, run. It's a huge map. I, I don't want to, like, spend way too much time in each area. But here's just kind of uh, a thing. You can pause the video right here. If you want to look at this here, I'll like weapon switch. There you guys go. You got you got some nice pause action right there. So coming this way, uh, you just open up that door. I think that door is 500, and then uh, up here you can go to power. But in this room, uh, very interesting. I don't spend too much time in here except to do the skull and uh, sometimes the boxes back here. You know what? I haven't even hit it this game. Let's just hit it and see what I get. A liquid divinium live. Let's go. I don't even care what I get out of the box. Oh yeah, Razorback, brand new weapon, uh, and zombies at least. So, right here is a down airplane. One of these traps, it's very annoying, not that great of a trap. Uh, as you can see here, you can plant seeds all over the map. This is kind of like your rundown. If you don't have the map, or, you, or you're on Xbox, I'm just trying to show you the basics. Because not a lot of people do this, you know. And I know... Under Ice and Drag, I would love to have had a video like this. So hopefully I can reach out to a lot of you guys and someone will enjoy this. So right here is the next door. You're going to come through here. This is the first power station. Well, power station A. I'm just going to do a 360 around it real quick. Um, right here is your element 115. This is how you do the first steps of power and you water plants. Right here there's usually a big blue spider web. You just use the KT4, although I do have mine upgraded now. And you'll be able to go down here to the spider. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys this because I can loop around pretty easily. You're gonna be locked in on this side. This bridge falls from the sky right up there. And this entire this huge spider you're gonna have to kill. And it's pretty easy to kill. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. We're gonna come straight through this tunnel. Uh, this right here is very cramped. Now, if you did not know, this is how Widow's Wine is made. You know, it just sucks it out of the earth and they bottle it. That's kind of like most water. All right. So we're gonna come right over here and you're just gonna fall out. You know, that's it. The spider, you're done. All right. So let's, we're gonna continue the 360 around here. Uh, there is a zip line. I will show you guys that. You can go back and forth. And then you come underneath here, and as you can see, this is the cage that you would trap a spider in. And we're just going to do one little 360. This is the back way, and then we'll go out that way right there. So let's go inside of the power station real quick. Sorry if this is a long video, but I really want to show you guys this entire map because most of the time whenever you're watching gameplay, you're watching someone with zombies, you're not going to see it it's so fast and all this stuff. So right here, this is the cage. You can lower it. That was the cage we looked at down below. This right here is your first power station. You just fill the bucket in there and it temporarily powers up. Um, you should see a bucket in here somewhere. I'll show you what one of those look like whenever it's sitting out. Uh, you're going to come right over here. This is a nice little place. No doors need to be opened up here once you actually open it up. This right here is your bucket. These are set out all over the map. You have a workbench up here. Nothing's there right now. Uh, this doesn't work. I'm sure it has something to do with something. Uh, you cannot go upstairs. So right here is the zip line. We're not going to be zip lining he from here to there. We're going to do it from there back up. So let's go ahead and go down to the main bunker doors, and then we'll carry on over to B. So right again, we're going underneath it, and this there is a door right here. You would have to purchase this, and now you're right here where the bunker is. This is where you get the bowie knife over there on the wall. This door right here is closed, so basically whenever you get here, you need to have two green lights, and then you'll be able to open this door. It's free. A ton of zombies spawn right here, and then you're in this room. Now, I'm going to show you guys something special about this room. If you do have a skull of na 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 you can come up and mesmerize this wall right here. Uh, once you do, like, a little Easter egg, I'll show you down below, and you're in this room. Not too sure what it means yet. Um... You know, it, it could be a part of the Easter egg, or it could just be a little hidden room, you know? There's nothing in here that I can see. I haven't tried to pick up anything, but we'll see. So, 
you see a little bit of this this right here is how you get down to the secret room that's a part of the easter egg and then you're in the comms room now the comms room is where pack a punch is you do need to find the machine tools and go around to all three of these little stations right here and turn on the machine with the machine tools and it's going to drain all of this water and pack a punch is there now like i said other on the other side um Let's actually stop the bunker tour right here and let's go over to B and it'll make a little bit more sense as I go deeper into the bunker. So right through here you'd have to open up this door and we're just going to go straight up the steps to the bunker. Now you would have to open up this door right here. I think it's 1,500 and as you can see this is the second power room. Another bucket. Plenty of buckets in this game. You fill this side up with water and that's how you get the two green lights to open up the bunker. Uh, we're just going to take a t quick tour. I have the gas mask in here. Uh, we're going to look in this room. Very, very nice. And this is going to get you down here. And we're just going to do a little 360. We're going to show you um, just, you know, the outside, another plant place. Uh, parts of the shield are found in here. And then we're going to go all the way over here to this side right here. This is another pool of Element 115 water. You can fill up your bucket with green water. The other side's blue. On the inside is purple. And then underneath us right here is rainbow. Right here's another bucket, like I said. Uh, stamina up, although that will change to speed cola or double tap. We're going to go right back up here. And uh, before we go into the bunker again, let me show you the other side of spawn. And then we'll go back into the bunker and cover everything I missed. So we'll be completely done with the outside. So right over here, I'll, just, I'll take you guys back into spawn so you can see it from spawn point of view. So as you can see, we are in the spawn. That's where we went swimming just a minute ago. And we're coming around right here. This is the other side of the spawn. Uh, there's a lot of nice stuff on this side. Uh, big parts to the Easter egg are over here. And sometimes you can get Jug. And in my case, it was Quick Revive, but... You know how this map goes, it's gone now. So on this side right here, you have your ritual area. You do all of these, like the three tasks and you know, you can receive reward. I think this is gonna be a max. It is. Um, and you know, you see thunder and lightning. That is a part of getting the upgraded gun. Down here though, is where you get this, your skull of Nansapwe. Very, very nice. You come down here and there's all kinds of stuff running at you and trying to kill you. All you gotta do is kill them off. And then we're going to go right over here and we're going to drop off. You saw this before. We're right underneath B again. So we're going to go right back into the bunker and I'll show you what I missed. And we'll go deeper into the bunker and really explore this thing. Alright, so we're back in the bunker. As you guys can see, here's the secret door I open. And we're going to go up here. Now, this is your first door to the right. Nothing too important is in this room except for a part to the shield. Um, other than that, this is a death trap, although you can open up this door. This is kind of like a little Easter egg door. Not too many people know about this, and you can slide from here and look where we are, all the way back at B. Now, I'm going to have to run all the way back around, but no worries, because we're really, really close, and we're going to go even deeper. So, right up here is the comm room, again, where pack punches. Now, this room off to your left is going to be your power room. This is where you go swimming. Underneath here, you turn on your power, you unblock the web right here, and you got to kill off multiple zombies, and you can come right up here and flip the switch. Now, this room over here is the other end of the zip line, and like I said, we'll be riding this up, but not right now. We'll leave it. We'll leave it for last. That'll be the, the surprise or whatever you guys would call it. So, right here's another place for the skull, and we're going to go all the way back to the main comm room again. We'll go right across the hall to where I do a lot of my training, the living quarters. And this right here is where my game pretty much froze. It was a spider round, and I never could find the last spider. I think at the end of this video, you know, this is one thing I'm doing is looking around the map. As you can see right here, purple water. This right here is what you need to shoot with your Skull and Nan Sapway. Uh, you just need to mesmerize. That is LT or L2 on the PS2 controller. So you come right up here, there's a bunch of like spider webbed up bodies you're gonna have to knife down. Really nice training room, and as you can see over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the shield. The shield looks pretty cool, it's not a rocket shield at all. It's just your average run-of-the-mill shield. So 
Let's keep going down. Let's keep going down into this bunker. Now you're in like this weird little testing room that has all the bodies and everything. And you have a nice little seed plant right here. We can go ahead and water that with some purple water. And then you go all the way down here. And then you're in some more of a lab testing scenario you have where you build the Wonder Weapon at the beginning and then where you upgrade the Wonder Weapon at the end. And if you do run out of um, mas whatever this is, Masoon ammo, and you have to recycle, you can come back and upgrade it for free again. You don't have to find all the parts. Now, this is where the map gets very, very interesting. Something they've never done before in Zombies, and this is the underwater cavern type. So, yes, you can die under here. You just go up to these little pods and get air, and there's nice little spaces that you can just stand up, get you some air, and then you go down to the airtight corridor. Don't worry, zombies will not bother you down here, but right here is where you would normally find the plant to get this gun, but if we look to my right, bam, another place to plant a seed. I'm just going to go ahead and plant that, put some purple water, who knows what that's going to do. Give me a little bit more air. So, as you guys can see, this is a secret place. All you use is the skull LT on it again, or L2, to open that secret door up. But first, you need to do that one wonder weapon place, or that one secret place near the purple water. So, that's pretty much the underwater experience of this map. Uh, it's very claustrophobic to be in. I don't think I've missed any doors that I haven't opened, but now I'm going to take you guys on the ride of your life through the sewer pipe. So, if you're wondering how to get rainbow water, you wait till this right here, and you press X exactly when I do, and look at us, we're up on the other side already. So, as you can see, this has been a pretty good map. This is, this is one of those maps where it's big and it's really confusing whenever you first get it. I mean, look, I just turned into a nothing. And, you know, the zombie spider did not spawn out, which is, is very angering but i'm gonna try let's see do i have any nukes i do have a dead and nuclear winner i'm gonna try to get that and just use a nuke and see what happens and you know see if see if something good can happen and oh my gosh i think i just heard the spider down there um so yeah that's pretty much it you can fall down these right here i am gonna try back i heard something like scratching on the walls down here so i hope you guys enjoyed this tour I'm sorry it was such a long video. I'm going to be quiet real quick. Okay, yeah, nothing. I, I could not hear the spider anymore, so wait. Nope. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a very long video coming in at 13 minutes, but, you know, I feel like you guys are wanting to see this map. If there are any other secret areas that I did not open up, such as this area, which you do have to do the Easter egg for, I will try to get that in a later video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a long, super, super long video, but to the right people, I know you guys will really appreciate this because this is something that I really wished for on Darius and Drac, and even whenever I did not have this map for those two few days. So let me know by leaving at least 50 likes. I think we can get that. And let me know if you made it all the way to the end and if you really did like this video and you want more map, more videos like this whenever the next map comes out. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Peace.